two years. What's up guys? I haven't seen you guys in two years and today I'm coming at you with a fall haul clothing edition, fashion edition. All the links will be in the description below if you want to know where I'm shopping. Um, I haven't done a video in two years and we can just address that another day. <laughs> it's been a while. I just want to say that the past two years have kind of been a little bit of a whirlwind. It's been a little crazy. There's been a lot of changes in my life. Still married, still in the same place. I'm just, I had to take a break. I had to take a break. It was, um, it was a lot. But I do want to do a video where I'm kind of coming back into the circle and the swing of things. And I wanted to do a fall haul because I mean, there's so many cute things out there and it's just not right not to share. So I figured that I would share a few things, some Amazon finds, some Target finds, and some cute little boutiques that I live pretty close to. So I figured that I would talk about them. I never really did fashion on my channel before. It was pretty much just makeup and reviews. And I kind of want to branch out and do a little bit more because I was feeling very boxed in and now we're not going to do that anymore. I really want to venture out into all the things that I'm interested in. You guys let me know what you like to see and let me know if you like this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because that will be where I'm posting some of these outfits so you can get some ideas things that I don't talk about here on YouTube, I will be posting on Instagram, so go follow me. It's at Lindsay Roses. Okay, Amazon, what are you doing to me and my bank account? These hats, they are $20 and they are so cute. I posted one of the hats the other day on Instagram. Go like my post if you haven't seen it already. And uh, I'm in love. This has the cutest buck on the top, and I got another color as well. It's this really beautiful gray, like marled color. How cute is this? I don't have the drawstring on the inside pulled tight, but they do fit a wide array of heads. But these hats are so cute, good quality. The material's really thick. Um, they didn't come in bunched. They had like a cover for this piece so that it doesn't lo lose its shape. And they also have the drawstring on the inside that you can kind of pull tighter. I thought this is a good value. I think they're really cute. And if you're looking for a cheap fall hat, I mean, these are like, these are perfect. And you'll be seeing these hats throughout this whole video because I'm pretty much gonna style them with like everything that I've got. Next thing I got, it's really plain. It's this sweatshirt dress from Amazon, but it is so soft. It is so comfy. It is like, oh, it is so good for like casual days where you don't wanna dress up super crazy. But if you're wanting to transition your wardrobe from the warmer days to more cooler days. This is perfect because it has long sleeves. The material is really cozy and it's really comfortable. It could, you could just wear it around the house or you could just, you know, dress up and go out. Are you kidding me? I feel so confident. I feel so cute. I ordered this dress, I believe, in a medium and it just hits at the perfect length. It's not too short and it's just, it's so comfy and cozy. It's just my ideal fall, like, dress. And I just want to show you that it has pockets. So yeah, this with the combat boots or you can dress it up with knee high boots. Like I am so in love with this outfit. It hurts. <laughs> the next thing is this sweater from Amazon. I love the boho vibes. It kind of goes with like my living room. It's this crocheted material, super soft. And it has this really cool back, which I haven't really seen very much of. It's like this really silky piece. I would definitely have to like iron this out because I just got this piece. But this really cute piece, it kind of goes really low, like tunic style in the back. So if you're like concerned about covering up your butt, if you want to wear leggings or something, this is low enough to kind of make you feel a little bit more covered. It does have a high slit on the side though. So just know that you would be exposing a lot of your side if you don't want to, but I'm okay with it. So anyway, I really love the way that the front of this drapes. It is so cute how it drapes. Again, it's just, it's a lightweight piece. It's long sleeved. It can be layered with multiple different jackets, cardigans, and, you know, different outfits and stuff that you can put this together with. You can dress it up, dress it down. That's like my whole closet. Okay. The next thing that I got off of Amazon is this absolutely adorable sweater, sweatshirt, sweater. 
it definitely goes off the shoulder or you can do it one shoulder you can tuck it in the front or you can just like let it hang out and just relax with a really cute relaxed fit i love how casual this is but it looks really cute this is my favorite thing on sweatshirts right now is this puffy sleeve it's just ugh. okay i'm looking up the prices of everything the sweatshirt dress i got for $19.98 for the crochet sweater, I got this for $25.89. For the V-neck oversized sweater, I got from $19.49. So there you go. So far, good deals. This hat I got for $21.45, and then this hat I got for $20.59. So there's all the prices. Everything will be linked in the down below. Be sure to check those links out. The next few things are from Target, and actually I wanted to show you this top is actually from Target. I mean, it's got the fall colors, orange is my vibe. It's got this really nice drawstring. I've got them with uh, these torn jeans, black from Fashion Nova. Oh, this outfit is so cute. I just really wanted like a plain boot that didn't have any tassels, no decorations, nothing on them. And I think I found the perfect little booty. The heels, I'm 5'9". I don't want heels that are huge. This boot is so cute. I really like the toe. It looks really like it feels high quality. The material itself is just super nice. They're actually really comfortable and Target's shoe section is definitely like top notch. Love it. Wish I had one closer to me. I have to drive like an hour away to get to a Target. Another pair of boots that I got are these sort of like a Doc Martin style of boot. I actually, here's the story. Okay, I really like the look of Doc Martens. I think they're very cute, but I just don't know with my long legs if they'll look, you know, that great on me. So what I did was I want to try the combat boot style without committing to spending like $150. Now, if I really, really, really love it and these shoes just kind of give out on me and I want the ones with the higher heel, like I will definitely invest in some Doc Martens because I know that they're high quality shoes to last you forever. They're super cute. But I just want to see how I feel about the combat boot thing before I actually dive into that world. So, you know, this is sort of like warming me up to it, getting used to the style. And then if I want to commit, then I'll go buy me some Doc Martens. And then, of course, I had to get me a graphic tee. <sighs> Rolling Stones. I pictured styling this with like a long sleeve shirt, some like ripped up jeans, and some combat boots. I really actually think that style would suit me really well with like the correct like pieces put together. I think that would be really, really cute because I actually do like really edgy styles. I like boho. I'm like all about some boho. And then I like really edgy stuff. I wanted to show you this Rolling Stones t-shirt because I would not wear this just like plain as is. I mean, it's okay if you want to go for that like really comfy, cute vibe. It's okay if you want to go for a really casual look, but I really like taking these and tying these just to give your waist some definition. Kind of pull it out a little bit. Ooh, girl, it's a vibe. <laughs> if you are looking for high-waisted flare jeans, you should look no further because I have the best ones. I've seen the stores. I've been in you know, a few different styles. There's nothing better than these high-waisted flare jeans. Just nothing better. These do it the best. They're not from Amazon. They are pricey. This is the Three Birds Nest Wide Leg. What are you called? I'm gonna look you up. I'm looking on their website now. They actually have two different versions of these type of pants, but this is the highest waisted, the highest waisted flare bottom jeans I've ever seen, like online. This is the most exaggerated flare. It's huge. Like this is not doing it justice. I love how this kind of tapers in. It definitely, the material is super stretchy. So I got mine in a medium. They don't have like regular sizing. I had the one with the belt loops and the buckle. Buckle? Button? I have the one with the belt loops and the button, but they have one that has like a stretchier waistband that doesn't have any type of belt loop. I'm looking on their website now. It looks like the Janus is 74 and the Dillons are the same exact price. Yeah, the Dillons are 74 as well. They regularly have like 30% off on their site. And these were actually so long that I had to cut them and rip up the edges a little bit just to kind of rough them up a little bit. But I did have to cut them up. They actually have a tutorial online on how to do that. but. If you are tall, if you love high-waisted things, these were just like the best investment. I love these jeans so much. Totally worth your money. Totally worth your money. Guys, the next two tops are from a boutique that I am in love with. They are so, they are so cute. 
their whole site, their whole Instagram, like they know how to market. They are just like, they have the most beautiful people on their store. It's just, it's fantastic and beautiful and I absolutely love it. And oh, can we just take a moment for this print? Oh, it's kind of got that cool like 80s, 90s vibes with the color blocking, but this color is so stunning. It's got the bubbled sleeve ends, and then I really love where it hits on the waist. This isn't too big, it's not too large, and it's one of those that you can actually tuck into your pants, and it looks really cute draped, like tucked into your pants a little bit. Just the material, everything about it just feels super high quality. It feels so soft. This is called the Embrace It Sweater, and just take a moment for this pattern. How cute is this? And all of these, I am a size small. And then the next thing, it's a very similar sweater, but not the exact same print. But I just love the way that this hits as well. This has these cutest puff balls on the sleeve. And then it has that bubble sleeve again. I think this is my favorite. <gasps> how? Oh my God. Like how cute is it with these pants? I love how this sits on my waist. I love where it hits. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's not that weird crop. I love this neck, I love the bubbled sleeve. It's got the pom-poms, like how cute is this detailing? Oh, it's all in the details with this brand. So yeah, that is everything. I haven't filmed in such a long time that I'm like, my voice is wearing out just from how exhausted I am from talking. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's been a long time coming and maybe I'll be doing a video hopefully really, really soon explaining why I left YouTube for so long. Be sure to like this video, leave me a comment. All the interaction helps bring my videos into other people's suggested so that would really help me out so, so much. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you lasted all the way to here, I love you. Thank you so, what is this? Thank you so much if you lasted till now and let me know what you want to see in the future. So thank you guys and it feels good to be back baby.